Good morning guys, today is a big day. I am so excited, you've seen the title. I'm not gonna try and hide it and build up the suspense. I am buying my very first Rolex today. So we're on the way to Essential Watches up in Beverly Hills. We're gonna go see Seth and I'm gonna show you guys this new Rolex that I am about to own. I am bare-wristed in anticipation and I cannot wait. Here we go. Let's see if we can get up here without scraping. Here he is. All right, moment of truth. We are about to go and get this watch from Seth. What's up, Ray? Hey, how you doing? How's it going? Good to see you. Hey, Happy yeah. New Year. Happy New Year to you too. Is, uh, is his lordship here? <laughs> yes. Right this way. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Dun, 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 dun. None of those are mine. Is one of these mine? Seth. What's hey, up, hey. dude? He's here. How you doing? All right, I was expecting you. That's a bit different, huh? How you doing? I'm good, mate, I'm good. How's Miami? Miami was great. Yeah? Great. Sunny? Yeah. Uh, it was nice, it was a little windy, but it was sunny. Yeah. And uh, enjoyed it with the family, so it was a fantastic vacation. Thank good, you. Good, good. Yeah. So for you guys wondering, I'm not wearing a mask, he's not wearing a mask, that is because we are both COVID negative. He got his test done because he came back from Miami. When he told me that, I went and got one done so that we can do this. And you can see his beautiful smiling face and you can see my ugly mug. So that's why we're, uh, we're doing this. Um, can we close this door, is that cool? And then that way we won't get people coming in trying to get his autograph. <laughs> um, so I've already explained to everybody what the deal is. So I saw this Rolex on your Instagram. Mm -hmm. Seth posts up these stories on his Instagram. If you're not following him, I'll tag all of his stuff below. Um, but yeah, Central Watches on Instagram. And uh, he posted up this Rolex and about 15 people, no word of a lie, DM'd me before I even got to see it on your story. They DM me to say, this is, if this is an Adam watch, I don't know what is. Okay. And so when I saw it, I was like, oh, that is an Adam watch. <laughs> and I always said, if you guys follow the Producer Michael channel, on one of the videos, I actually said to him, I am gonna buy my first Rolex from you. From me, right. And I think that was probably getting on for two years ago. Yeah, it was, it was in the, two years ago. It was in the early days, wasn't it? That's right. So I said that and I saw this Rolex and I was like, it's Christmas, almost just after Christmas, why don't I do it? And so here we are, I'm about to buy my first Rolex. So I actually haven't seen it yet. Um, so I notice it's not in here. Yeah, I've been saving it for you, it's in the safe. Okay. Um, can you grab it? You ready to see it? I am. All right, I am. Set. All right, super excited about this. Seth has a crazy collection. He has so many watches. So if you guys are looking to get yourself a watch, then Seth is definitely your man. What are these things? Quorum bubbles. They're crazy looking. Are they expensive? Uh, no, they are not expensive, actually. What, like, what, what are they? How uh, much? They're like basically 2,500, 3,000. Interesting. Right in there. Yeah, they have a big rounded yeah. uh, crystal. Yeah, they're crazy looking. Bubble. All right. So the reason why this was such an Adam watch, as you guys were calling it on Instagram, is because it isn't just a regular Rolex. It, you, take, you take it out, it's fine. It isn't just a regular Rolex. It is in fact a DLC. Is it DLC coated or just yeah, DLC? It's a DS, a DLC coated. DL, it is a DLC coated Submariner with the yellow inserts on the bezel, which fits with my whole thing. Mate, that's so cool. That is so cool. Glad you like it, yeah. Okay. So it's got a yellow second hand, sweep seconds, and it's got yellow gold and accents on the ceramic bezel. Totally customized. That's crazy. So, but it's, it's full original Rolex, like the yeah. case is original. It, it's just been DLC 100%, coated. 100%, yeah. This is, a, this is a 40 millimeter, not the new 41. Okay. It's a 40 millimeter ceramic sub with date. What year is this? Do you know? Uh, this is a 2014. Okay, got yeah. it. And it's got the box, papers, everything. That is epic. Can I try it on, please? You got it. Let me, uh, where can I put this? Actually, stand by. I have a tripod in the car. I'm gonna go grab it, so I'll be back in one second. And I'm back, uh, not wearing a hoodie because it's a thousand degrees in here. Um, so, moment of truth. Here it is. Thank you, sir. All right, let me help you out Go with on, that. You do it. Right. Same Thank fits. You. So, DLC, diamond like coating, mm -hmm. it's a process where they're able to take the stainless steel and apply on a molecular level this black. It's actually nice because it's not like a, a deep, deep black. It's sort of like a. It's a, it's a matte finish. Yeah. Yeah but the sides of the case are high polished. Yeah. 
That's very cool. Let me see and show you guys this. I don't know if that's going to focus right there. But yeah, I'll, I'll do, I'll tell you what, I'll do cutaways for this so that you guys can actually see it in more detail because I'm a one-man band here and I'm <laughs> trying to try and get all of this done while I'm being super excited. Man, you, got a big, you got a big hand, man. Dude, I know. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. People are always like, oh, you always say that you don't like small watches, but I got like shovel hands, so. <laughs> Mate, that's cool. Yeah, nice. Huh? That is cool. Yeah, I like that. Colors, colors match. I, I guess it's on my back. It's not quite neon, but it's pretty damn close. I bet on camera you can't really tell the difference there. Mate, that's so sick. So let me show you. I actually have one here. Oh, the original one? The plain uh, version. Okay, that, so this is it. it. Yeah. So this is the same watch that hasn't been customized. Interesting. I just want to compare them. So they're the two side by side. Can you clean the glass, please, Seth? The crystal. <laughs> that, we're trying to make a YouTube video here. That's bad. Look how shiny that looks now. Mm -hmm. Right. So yeah. So there is your classic Submariner black dial, black bezel, ceramic bezel. Ceramic. Ceramic exactly. on both of them. Yes, they're both ceramic. And then oh, that's your modified one right there. Yeah. That's awesome. All right. Now. So, so typically, just for, for your information. Typically, when you see uh, customized PVD DLC watches, yeah. it's typically on the older generation, the 90s version, okay. the aluminum bezel. This one's nice. It's actually someone did this on a ceramic bezel. Right, and so the ceramic bezels are... Here, take this one off for me a second. Usually, they're about uh, uh, close to four to $5,000 more than the previous generation. Really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, they're much okay. more expensive. Just because of the ceramic bezel? Well, and, uh, and the market price. The market right. price is higher on the ceramic bezels, yeah. Interesting. So I was asking Seth about resale value and everything, because obviously this is a substantial investment. And I just want to say, Seth is massively looking after me here on the price. We have a very good relationship. And so thank you very much for that, mate. I really appreciate it. Of course. Um, so I am, it, it's, like I said, it's a no brainer for me to get this. Um, it is a lot of money to be putting out, but when I called you up, when I saw it, so he was in Miami when I called him and I was like, dude, talk to me about that black and yellow Rolex. And I asked him about the resale value versus the unmodified Submariner. Um, and you said that pretty much it does reduce the value a little bit, but over time, I'm basically not gonna lose money on You're it. You're fine, right? exactly right. Especially the price I'm giving it to you. But the plain Jane version of these watches are right now right around twelve to thirteen thousand pre-owned. Uh -huh. They used to be ten. Now they're twelve to thirteen. They've gone up a lot in the last right. year. Okay. So this watch I put on my Instagram for eleven. Yeah. I'm giving you better than my advertised, obviously, but you can see that the watch technically is worth less customized right. than it would have been original. Right. But to me, that is worth so much more because it's my brand colors, and and I figured that. For my first Rolex, like for the first, I mean, this is this is a monumental moment for someone that's into watches. Everybody remembers their first Rolex, and I'm stoked that I'm able to get it from you, like yeah. I said. Um, but for me, it makes more sense for me to get one that's in my brand colors that's like mm -hmm. means something to me than just get a, a generic. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's beautiful, obviously. Mm -hmm. But for the fact that I'm not going to lose money on this. Correct. It's kind of a no brainer. We're, we're getting kind of lucky because let's say you come to me, you said, Seth, listen, I really want to get a new, uh, new style ceramic sub customized. All right, you'd have to go out, buy it plain Jane, and then to do this to the watch is typically something like, I don't know, 1600 to $2,000 to customize it. Right. So really, someone actually probably bought this watch and then customized it, but in your situation, you're getting lucky that someone already did it, right. and they're they're the ones that took the so hit on the watch. The modification costs. Exactly. exactly. So yeah, it's like every time I sell one of my cars, I've modified it, yeah. I've spent all the money, yeah. and then I lose all that money when I come to sell it. So yes. okay, cool. Yeah, exactly well, I'm glad that finally the shoe is on the other so foot, and somebody you. else is <laughs> <laughs> taking it. I just wish it could have been neon, but yeah, it's yellow. I mean, <laughs> I'll take it. I'll yeah. take it. That that definitely looks pretty close to me, and it, it is a very vibrant yellow as well. That's so cool, man. Yeah. That's so cool. Can I try on the, the stainless sure, one? Sure, definitely. And how durable is that DLC coating? Very durable. Yeah? Yeah. Because that was the other thing. I don't, I, you know, I don't want to risk having it 
even come off it's, or, it's gonna be fine you know what i'm like with my watches yeah. i mean if you slip and fall on a bunch of rocks i mean yeah you're gonna put some or, scratches on it. or drunkenly fall off my electric bike <laughs> like i did with my <laughs> panerai right. yeah. yeah i mean I, I do love the stainless one, but I just, it's so cool. And and it's a conversation piece as well, because yeah. it's like, anyone can have this. Mm -hmm. You know, anyone can go and buy one of these. This is something a bit special and something that's more personal to me. So it definitely makes more sense in that respect too. Yeah, I love it, mate. I love it. All right. Sold. I'm happy. Sold. I'm happy for you, bro. Congratulations on your first Rolex purchase. Thank you very much. Congratulations on all the success you're having Thank and you. that you're able to purchase these watches for yourself. I appreciate it's it. It's awesome. Yeah. Good for you. I mean, it, it's funny because obviously I came into the Producer Michael channel and, and watches. I've always loved watches, but no idea, not a clue about like, mm -hmm. you know, what anything was. I, I didn't know a Rolex from a anything, basically. Mm -hmm. And so it's been fun to kind of like come along for the ride and start learning stuff and picking up things from you and you know everything that we've seen and to now be at the point where I'm not just looking at this at a, as a price you know as a eleven thousand dollar watch mm -hmm. like I understand its value like I I get it it means something to me it's I'm not just buying this to go hey look I've got a Rolex you mm -hmm. know what I mean I'm buying this because it actually means something to me. And I understand that it is an investment and it is something that it's an investment that I can wear and enjoy and all the things that Michael talks about when he tries to justify his watches. But you know what I mean? Well said. That's Do you want a job here, by the way? <laughs> you couldn't afford me. You're very, you're very good. <laughs> no, that's, uh, that's so cool. That is lovely. And you said that this has got box and papers as yes, well. Yes, it's got the box, I got the papers in the back. Which is super rare with modified watches. You say, yeah, typic yeah typically it'd be some uh, a watch you get naked that you'd want to put the money into modifying it. But this one actually came in with me, uh, box and papers. And a one year warranty. Oh, really? <laughs> I always nice. get warranties. Yeah, but all my used watches give one year warranties. I love it. All right, now we've got to do the money bit, haven't we? All right, let's do it. <laughs> um, what else you got in here? Have we got anything else I can take a look at? Do you have any of the deep seas in right now? Yeah, I have one in the window. So the Deep Sea is my kind of like real holy grail Rolex. That's the one that I've always said that I would love because it is a little bit bigger. It's got the same kind of form factor as the Submariner, but it's thicker. It's got that um, helium. Is it a helium escapement valve, Seth? Is it a what? Yeah. Is, yeah, is that what it's called? A helium escape escapement or escape? Yeah, pressure valve. Pressure valve. It's got a little valve, so when you Fair. dive with it. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So that little guy. So when you go diving, it basically lets the gas out. So they are much like thicker, aren't they? Yeah. And, it's a chunky boy. And they're also four millimeters bigger. Yeah, here, can you uh, yeah, sure. on one hand in this? Wow, chunky God. a little heavier. Yeah, it's, it's a beast, isn't it? When you, when you wear it like back to back mm -hmm. with one of those. Oh, that's 10% bigger. Yeah. Okay, controversial. Now that I'm wearing both together, I think I might prefer that. I mean, it's personal preference. You're gonna get used to it. Yeah, that's for sure. maybe maybe it is because I've just worn them back to back, but mm -hmm. this feels so fat now. Mm -hmm. Almost too heavy, too big. I, I feel like this, almost like the strap should be thicker because of how big the head is. Mm. You know what I mean? I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still, it's still lovely, but that, that my friends is my new Rolex. Yeah, that's got your name all over it. <laughs> You're good so now. cool. Right. Yeah, could you uh, I'm happy for release you, me? No, thank you so much. And like I said, it, it truly does make me happy that I was able to come and buy it from you as well. Like, I told you I would. I told you I would. You're the man. Here it is. Thank you. Wow. Well, guys, this is a huge, huge moment for me. <laughs> and without you guys watching this channel, I wouldn't be able to do this. So thank you all so much for coming along and enjoying the videos and supporting it and everything. Um, thanks to you, Seth, as well, obviously, for always always being there and helping me out. And um, I'm glad you were watching my Instagram stories. I am. That Absolutely. worked out. Yeah, yeah that's good. And make sure guys, yeah. you go and give Seth a follow. All of his information is gonna be in the description uh, as well as I'll probably like put it on the page here somewhere. <laughs> um, so yeah, go and uh, give Seth a follow. And if you are looking for, do you do new and used or is it all used? I am primarily a used watch dealer. Okay. However, Whenever a customer wants something that's brand new, I can source it. Okay, it's no problem cool. at all. I can get you discounts on anything. 
<laughs> anything but AP and Rolex <laughs> and Richard Mille. Right. Perfect. <laughs> Everything else. So yeah, if you do need a watch, then give Seth a call. He's there day and night. We actually we gave out his number on a producer Michael video once. And you were up till like four in the morning yeah. answering calls. Yeah, well, yeah, that, was, that was fun. So, <laughs> beginning of COVID, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. We got, got a huge website. Everything. If, I, I was going to say, yeah, if, if you need to watch Seth, has probably got it in stock. This is just a very, very small amount of uh, what he carries. So, guys, if you've enjoyed this, please give it a big thumbs up. That really helps with the whole YouTube algorithm thing. Um, if you aren't subscribed, please do, because I'd love to see you here again. And remember, until next time, don't know anything I wouldn't do. See ya.